problem on the geometry piece 1118, and we're going to look at two problems on uh, page 9, okay? This is the area of a parallelogram, and uh, area of a parallelogram means that we are going to find the length of the base multiply it times the perpendicular height. So that's actually pretty easy. Uh, the thing that makes it challenging is sometimes they give us the angle and the sides, but they don't tell us what the height is. Um, or they want us to find you know, this side and they give us the height. And so we have to do a little, um, well, remembering some things from previous paces, okay? So let's uh, first start, and a very important point on all the problems here on page nine is to draw a picture of them. They may not have enough room there in the pace. So get a piece of scrap paper, draw a picture, label everything that you know. So that's what I've done with problem number 15 here. So we know that the length is 12, the other side is 8, and then they give us the angle is 60 degrees. Now before we can find the area of 15, I need to figure out what the height is, all right? Well, let's go back and recall the 30, 60, 90 uh, triangle, and in that reference triangle, 60 is the degrees down here, so this is half of that, 30. The longest side is 2, the side opposite 30 is 1, and then the missing side here is square root of 3. We can always redraw that easily by remembering Pythagorean's theorem, because 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3, and then the square root of that would be square root of 3. So if you remember the Pythagorean theorem, that might give you a clue to come up with this if you forget. Now, we're going to set up a ratio of sides, okay? So, I can say 2 is to square root of 3 as 8 is to the height, because the height is what I'm solving for here, okay? So, 2 is to square root of 3 as 8 is to the height. Now, to solve it, we're going to cross multiply. So, 2h equals 8 square root of 3 divided by 2. So h is 4 square root of 3. I'm going to stop there because I want you to use your calculator. You're actually going to get a decimal approximation for the square root of 3. Multiply it times 4. And then, once you know that, you can multiply times the length, and you will have the area. Okay. Let's talk about number 18. 17, by the way, is similar to this, just different numbers. 18 is a little trickier. They actually want us to solve for the length of a B. So this is what we don't know <clears throat> from here to here. But they tell us that the base is 9, and they tell us that the area is 54. So actually, we can find this side very easily, okay? So what would that be? Well, base times height is the area, 54. The base is 9, so 9 times the height has to be 54, so the height must be 6. All right, so if this is 6, what would this side be? This is where we need to then remember the reference triangle for the 45, 45, 90. And in a case like that, each side is 1 and the hypotenuse is 2. And again, we can reconstruct that easily by saying this leg squared, 1 squared, plus 1 squared is 2. And so the hypotenuse would be the square root of 2. Now we can set up a ratio. So A, B, okay, is to, if this is 6, then this is also 6, okay, because these sides are the same. So A, B is to 6 as the square root of 2 is to 1. You see that? <clears throat> so we're saying this side here is to one of the legs as on this triangle, the hypotenuse square root of 2 is to a leg 1. I'm not going to finish that for you. Cross, multiply, divide, 
and then use your calculator to actually get a decimal answer for that one. All right, so I'll give you a little help on these two because I understand these are the two hardest ones on this page nine. Make sure you understand what you're doing though and understand the steps that are involved because you're going to see these again on the upcoming checkup and of course later on the self-test and pace test.